Hello Matt. Uh, we're going to be racing again in the 650 production pushrod class and the bike we're using is a 1982 BMW R65 LS. The nacelle on this has had the decaling removed here which would normally say R65 LS and has been repainted black from the original red color that it was. In order to safety wire the front axle pinch bolts we need to get more parent material so we substituted Allen heads for the safety bolts and drilled through. These are grade 10. And on the other side, I used castle nuts rather than drilling through the regular nuts to make sure that I had an ability to safety wire that in place. We removed the factory side stand and we put this wire in to retain the bushing that's right there. We should probably remove that bushing and the wire to make sure that it doesn't disqualify us. When we removed the turn signals, what we did was we taped the wires to make sure there wouldn't be any shorting. And then we placed these rubber caps over the top to avoid accidental contamination from the salt, as well as covering the sharp edges to make sure that it wouldn't cut somebody. And I need to know whether or not these caps and this way of removing the turn signals is okay with the PPP rules. Under the factory seat, we have a pigtail that we have for a battery tender that we use to keep the battery up during the off-season. It is an out-of-sight modification, however, I want to make sure that it is okay for us to leave this on uh, while in the PPP class, or if it should be removed to avoid any rule infractions. Both side covers have a zip tie right here, and this is to hold the side covers on because of damaged tabs in the front. This is another out of sight modification because it is behind the number plate, but I also want to make sure that this zip tie doesn't qualify as, you know, disqualifies us in PPP class, and do I need to get replacement covers, or can I use a different modification to hold these side covers on that would be out of sight? In the same way we use on the front axle, we replaced the pinch bolt with grade 10 Allen hardware so I had parent material to drill through for the safety wiring. And going down to the bottom side, I also used once again a castle nut, also grade 10, to retain it rather than drilling through a factory nut where I might lose the temper. On the tail light, we do have what the Harley guys would call a dip dot an identifying thing from the dealership of which this vehicle was bought back in 1982. Since it is not a factory sticker, but it is a dealer sticker, is this something that we need to remove to make sure that we don't have a PPP rule infraction?